Hello and welcome to Sacred Flow 60. This is our weekly vinyasa class here at Moon Medicine Yoga with me, Allison. And today's class is the first part of a new series called Moving with the Moon. And today's class is going to focus on the waxing crescent phase of the moon. We just celebrated the new moon. So we're going to step into this phase of the waxing crescent. And during this phase, the moon's growing light symbolizes the perfect time to build new habits, to open yourself and to explore new possibilities. We'll focus on building strength and also gently opening the hips to release any stagnant emotion. This is going to facilitate both mental and physical growth. Our practice begins with Kapalabhati Pranayama or skull shining breath. And this is an invigorating practice in which we employ short, forceful exhales. This technique does a lot to build internal heat, energize the body, and clear the mind. It's a very stimulating practice, which is a great way to embody the growing lunar energy of the waxing crescent. Our asana practice includes a series of ladder flows, which are sequences which grow gradually with intensity and heat. And this is again going to charge our bodies with that growing moon energy. I hope that sounds good. I'm really excited. A lot of you have asked for a series like this, so I'm really happy to finally put one together for you. You don't need any props for today's class. If you're using the playlist, you can press play right now and we're gonna get started lying on the back. <sighs> lying on the back, we're gonna begin with the knees bent, the feet flat on the floor, the hands resting somewhere on the body, just to facilitate some grounding here. Feel the length of the spine on the mat, the back of the head relaxing, the shoulders relaxing. And then just start to witness the breath. Let the breath slow down. Let the breath deepen. And if you have an intention for this phase of the moon or this lunar cycle, you can bring it to mind right now. No blinking the eyes open. Take a nice cleansing breath in through the nose and out of the mouth. <sighs> open the arms wide. Flip the palms to face down. <clears throat> Extend the legs, flexing the feet. Draw the right knee into the chest. Start to make big outward circles with the knee. Bending as the knee comes in towards the chest, extending as the leg swings down towards the bottom of the mat.
Next time the knee comes in, let's switch directions. Crossing the knee over now, swinging it out and then into the chest. Last time, and we're just going to extend that leg towards the bottom of the mat, hover it for a moment, and then set it down. Inhale the arms overhead, just maybe grabbing onto one wrist, creating a soft circle with the arms. And then walking the heels over to the left side of your mat, cross the right ankle over the left. Lift your shoulders, curve the upper body to the left as well, completing that crescent moon shape. Deep breath into the right side of the body, feel it expand. Exhale, soften. If you wanna really go for it here, you can extend the arms overhead, interlace the fingers in steeple, creating that little pointed tip of the crescent moon. It's just a little more energized. If you want to keep it chill, just grab the wrist and soften the arms. Last breath here. Inhale, upper body shifts back to center. Uncross the heels, bring the legs back to center. When you're ready, opening the arms wide once again, turning the palms to face down. Exhale, left knee floats in towards the chest and start to open that knee out to the side, swing the leg long, move with your breath. Maybe inhaling on the extension, exhaling as the knee comes in. Next time the knee comes in, pause and go in the other direction. Mm. One more circle. And extend that leg to a hover and set it down. Inhale the arms overhead, again grabbing wrist or steepling the, in, or interlacing the hands in steeple, nice long arms. Walk the heels over to the right, crossing the left ankle over. Pause here. You can lift the shoulders to shift. <sighs> Curving to the right, completing your crescent moon shape. Feel that lengthening in the left side. 
Breathe into it. Inhale, lift the upper body back to center. Uncross the ankles back to center. Big breath in. Exhale, knees into the chest. Ooh, rock side to side. <laughs> Gave myself a little hip adjustment there. Now let's rock lengthwise on the spine, coming up to a comfortable seat. Once here, sitting nice and tall, resting the hands on the knees. Preparing for Kapalabhati breathing, and if this is new for you, just follow along. We're going to do it slowly at first to really develop a bit of muscle memory, and then we'll start to pick up the pace. So we're gonna breathe in about halfway first. And then out the nose, blast that breath. And as you blast the breath out of the nose, you feel a nice swift inward engagement where the navel pulls in towards the spine. Sort of like the belly button wants to go up and into your ribs. Scoop it in. We're gonna do this slow at first. Just match my pace. The inhales sort of happen automatically. The air just sort of flows in on its own. The perfect amount. So you don't have to like, just let the air flow in naturally. This feels good. Keep this pace or you can pick it up with me. We're gonna do like a double time. Keep it up, taking breaks whenever you need to or slowing down your pace whenever you need to. Let's go for about 10 more seconds. Deep breath in, reach up, letting that go. Exhale, hands through heart center. Just take that in, breathing naturally. Hands down, going for a second round. You choose the pace, either slow or fast. Inhaling halfway. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Deep breath in, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Close the eyes, bow to the fingertips, and breathing gently in and out of the nose. Feel the weight of the body pressing down. Let's get grounded.
Blinking eyes open, let's come onto hands and knees. Preparing for a little ladder flow warming wave, beginning with a few rounds of cat cow. We start with the hands under shoulders, the knees under hips. Nice engaged belly as you inhale, scoop the heart forward, arch the back. Exhale, curl the tailbone under, Ooh. spread the shoulder blades as you round the back, chin to chest. Two more, inhale, opening. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, opening. Exhale, rounding. One more cow belly breath. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pausing here in stillness for five deep breaths. Soften the knees, press the arms nice and long, grounding through the thumb and index finger. Gaze back between the legs. Last breath in. Exhale, knees to mat. Inhale, cow belly breath. Three rounds of cat cow. Exhale, round. Inhale, cow belly breath. Exhale, downward facing dog. From down dog, inhale to plank pose. Pausing here, feel your arms pressing the earth away, your heels pressing back, your heart reaching forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's find a little flow here. Inhale, rounding forward, plank pose. Exhale, knees soften as you press back down dog. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two more just like that. Plank pose, inhale, exhale, tabletop, drop the knees. Inhale, cow belly breath, three rounds, cat cow. Inhale, cow belly. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pausing. Inhale into your plank, plank flow. Forward, nice and long energy through the body. Exhale, pressing back. Moving with your breath.
Last time, plank pose, take a breath in. Exhale, child's pose. Drop the knees, wrap the arms back by the sides. Just give the shoulders a little respite. Cleansing breath. With each sequence of a ladder flow, we add a pose each time, or we add a movement each time. Walk the hands forward, inhale, tabletop, cat, cow, three rounds. Your spine's going to be so warmed up. Inhale to tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay for a round of breath. And inhale to plank flow. Moving consciously here. One more time, pressing back and pulling forward. Take a breath in and plank. Exhale, drop the knees, child's pose. Sweep the arms back by your sides. Relax through the shoulders. Really let them kind of like drape forward. Let the palms face up. Maybe the elbows even soften down toward the mat as well. And for the last little piece of this ladder flow, we're going to pull up to tabletop, taking a variation of child's pose, sort of like cow face meets child's pose. We're going to slide the right knee forward, and sort of thread the right leg through so that the right knee is right in front of the left and the feet are going to fan out to the sides. As you exhale, sink the hips back. Really targeting the hips in this flow. Allowing the body to fold over the knees. You can let your head drop down. Just breathe into that stretch. You can stay right here, but if you'd like a little bit more, you can walk the hands in, rising up to a seat, keeping those cow face legs. We'll take eagle arms. Left arm's gonna bind under right, sending the fingertips up to the sky. This is just an option if you want a little extra. Give the eagle arms, let's release arms, sweep to sky.
Exhaling, hands to the mat. Let's all pull ourselves forward to rewind. Bring the right knee forward, setting it back tabletop. Taking it right to the left side. <laughs> Sliding that left knee forward, threading the leg through. Stacking the knees one in front of the other. Feet are wide. Exhale, sink your hips back. And even if you're taking that up weight variation, let's stay in this sort of yin formation for a few breaths. If you're taking the eagle arms, walk the hands in, rising up. This time, right arm binds under left. Wrap it up and lift the fingertips. You have eagle arms, inhale, release, sweep arms to sky. Exhale, hands to mat. Let's all pull forward. Send the left knee forward, back into tabletop. Take a deep breath in, cow belly breath. Exhale, downward facing dog. Letting that go. Now, because these are more like lunar focused classes, um, all the vinyasas can be optional. If you want to keep things more on the cooler side, then just skip the vinyasas. If you're feeling a little more energized or like you want to invoke some of that movement, heat in the body, then flow through the vinyasas. If you are moving through vinyasa, I'll do one with you. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga or lower to the belly. Inhale to cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, we look forward, walk, step, or hop to hands. Inhale, hands to the shins, lengthening halfway. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, rise up, reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center, and then to the sides. Tadasana, mountain pose. Come back to the breath. Preparing for our standing ladder sequence. From the top of the mat, bringing big toes to touch. Exhaling, bend, sit back and down for chair pose. Inhale, the arms rise. Feel the weight in the heels. You can lift and fan the toes here. This will be our longest chair pose hold. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, bowing down. Again, inhale, dropping the seat chair pose. Pause. Exhale, bring hands to heart center and slowly stepping the right foot back for a low lunge. Take it back. Drop the knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, the arms overhead, reaching those thumbs back in space. 
Gather the belly in and breathe. Breathing in, reach back, look up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Lifting your back knees, step forward and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding down. Big toes touch. Inhale, chair pose. Stay for the exhale, dropping in a bit deeper. Inhale, hands to heart center. Exhale, slowly left foot steps back, low lunge. On your inhale, untuck the toes and send the arms overhead. Even here, making that crescent lunge shape. One more breath in, reach back. Exhale, hands to mat. Tucking back toes, step forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we fold. Big toes touch. Little space between the heels. Inhale, chair pose. Drop the seat and reach up. Inhale, hands to heart center, deep breath. Exhale, right foot steps back for a low lunge. <sighs> Inhale, arms overhead. If you'd like, you can interlace the fingers here, create steeple, again, to make the tip of the crescent moon as you reach overhead. And now adding the next pose, we're going to tuck the back toes and lift the knee into a full crescent lunge. Turning it up a little bit. That's it. One more deep breath in. Exhale, hands to mat, stepping forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding down. Big toes touch. Inhale, chair pose. Pausing. Inhale, hands to heart center. Feeling that heat now. Exhale, stepping left foot back. Drop the knee for low lunge. Untucking the toes, inhale the arms overhead. Option to interlace in steeple. When you're ready, gazing forward, tuck the back toes and energize up into your high lunge. Feel your heel pressing towards the back of the mat. Deep breath in. Exhale, hands to mat, stepping forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Last rung of the ladder. Big toes touching, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, dropping in, hold it. Inhale, hands to heart center, feel your heart lift to thumbs. Exhale, right foot lunges back, dropping the knee on, tuck the toes. Inhale, arms overhead, Anjaneya Asana, low crescent lunge. Option to steeple the hands.
Gazing forward, relax the eyes, establish a drishti as you rise up, crescent lunge. Last big breath here. On your exhale, this time hands to hips, the last pose of the flow, of the ladder flow. We're gonna press off the back foot, and bring the right knee into the chest. Standing on the left leg. Just do your best. If you make some like little toe hops, that's cool. Figure four, cross right ankle over left knee and sit back and down. And figure four, balance. If you'd like, you can keep the hands on the hips like so. You can bring hands to heart center or even interlace hands behind the back. Mm, to open the shoulders. Last breath here. We'll bring hands to the hips, set the right foot down and fold. You got this, big toes touch. Inhale, chair pose, drop the seat, arms rise. Exhale, sitting back a little deeper. You can see the toes in front of your knees. Inhale, hands to heart center. Exhale, left foot lunges back. Drop the knee and untuck the toes. Inhale, arms rise, Andranea Asana. <sighs> Holding here, you got it. Tucking toes, gaze forward, rise into your full crescent lunge. Deep breath in, exhale, hands to the hips. Pressing off those back toes, bring that left knee into the chest, standing on your right leg. Figure four, cross the ankle over the knee, sitting back and down to a nice figure four. Balancing pigeon stretch. Keep hands on hips, bring hands to heart. Or last option, interlacing hands behind the back, with the awkward thumb on top this time, sending those knuckles back, lifting the thumbs away from your low back, letting your heart bow forward. Last breath in. Exhaling hands to hips, setting the left foot down, and we fold. <sighs> Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, final fold down. Inhale, rise, reaching up. Exhale, hands to heart center and arms to the side. Let's just shake all that out. Cleansing breath in through the nose, <sighs> out the mouth. <sighs> Coming back to the top of the mat, finding stillness into dasana. Inhale the arms overhead. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back, down dog, or option to flow through the vinyasa if you're feeling it.
From here, look forward, hop to a seat. Mm. Once here, we're gonna bring the feet to the floor with the knees bent, hands behind us, fingertips gonna point out to the side. Mm. This easy does it back bending. We're gonna lift the chest, roll the shoulders back, and for a bit more, lift and scooch the seat forward. It's going a little deeper into the shoulders, breathing. Now scooching your seat back, feet as wide as the mat, just windshield wiper the knees from side to side. Feeling the knees make contact with the earth is going to give you a bit more of a twist, side stretch. If you want to back off, the knees can just hover. Let the knees fall to the right, and pause, sweep the left arm around. We're going to face the back of the mat, lowering the chest down into this nice prone, staggered, restorative twist. The arms can go anywhere wide. You can use them like a little head pillow or encircle the head. Nice deep breaths here as you soften in. Inhale, slowly press up. Mm, sweep yourself back to center. Mm. Hands behind you, fingertips out to the side. Or if you want a little more, bring your tips forward. Planting the feet. Inhale, lift your hips for upward table. You could stay right there or for more upward plank. And for that, we extend the legs, bring the feet together. Mm -hmm. Inhale, we lift and try to bring the toes to the mat. Another deep breath in. Mm -hmm. Super energizing. Exhale, lower. Woo. Turn the fingertips out. Feet as wide as the mat, and we just windshield wiper side to side, starting with the left side first. Let the knees fall left. And then sweep that right arm around, turning to face the back of your mat. Lower your chest and rest your left cheek.
Slowly press up, sweeping yourself back to center. Just rolling onto the back, bring the knees into the chest. A little rock side to side. Reaching through, grab the arches for happy baby. Plugging the shoulders back. Final stretch for the hips too. And then releasing if there's any closing shape pose movement that you're craving at this moment or that you think would complete your practice, then you can take say five to 10 breaths to explore that. Otherwise, we're extending into Shavasana. Legs are long, arms are long. Walk those shoulder blades down the back. Feel that gentle lift in your heart. Take a few deep breaths to drop in. And then allow yourself to just be and enjoy your rest. Slowly bring the awareness back to the body. Deepening the breath. Moving the fingers and toes. With a great deep breath in, reach the arms overhead. Bring the knees in and roll to your side for the fetal position for today's closing reading. This is Rise by Rupi Carr. 
rise, said the moon, and the new day came. The show must go on, said the sun. Life does not stop for anybody. It drags you by the legs, whether you want to move forward or not. That is the gift. Life will force you to forget how you long for them. Your skin will shed till there's not a single part of you left they've touched. Your eyes will finally see your eyes, not the eyes which held them. You will make it to the end of what is only the beginning. Go on, open the door to the rest of it. Time. Press yourself up to a seat. Hands at heart center. Mm. To seal our practice, we bring thumbs to third eye. We bow to honor each other and all our relations. Mm. Thank you for embodying the waxing crescent moon with me today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll stick around for the rest of the series as well, which means next week we'll be looking at the waxing gibbous, taking us all the way up to the first quarter or half moon, and then following that all the way to the full moon, the waning phases. So I'm excited to share them all with you. And if you have any questions, please let me know. But until next time, I love you so much. And I'll see you soon on the mat and under the moon. Bye.